here we have our right triangle and it is its longest side which is known as hypotenuse hypotenuse is also the opposite side of 90 degree angle and these are two other leg of right triangles but why we are letting you know this because right the three legs of right triangle has very beautiful relationship with each other and here we have that relationship that says if you square the two legs and add them up they will be equal to the square of its hypotenuse this is known as pythagorean theorem which formally states something like this the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of other two legs of a right angled triangle but here we have a question does this theorem really work for a right angle triangle of any size or how can I prove this theorem? So this video has been recorded to show you how we can prove Pythagorean theorem. So this is Sir Abid Kazmi. Now let's start the video. In the video, we will prove the Pythagorean theorem using three different approaches. So you can, you can understand any one of them so that you can know how we can prove Pythagorean theorem. I am writing the theorem right here for a reference so that we can compare whether we have proved or not. First proof is that I am taking a right triangle like this and since the theorem is about the square of its sides, so I am just drawing the squares on each side of this triangle like this. So you can see that I have drawn three squares on each of three sides of this triangle. Now according to the theorem I have to prove this if we add up the area of these two squares which is blue and green so they should be equal to the area of this square which is of golden color. So now let's start and doing this. Well since we need to compare that the area of smaller two squares is equal to the area of this large square so I am just writing this large square right here so that we can easily compare next I am decomposing the small square so that we can rearrange it so I am decomposing something like this okay after cutting these two small squares like this I will have these five pieces now I have to rearrange these five pieces so that it could make something a figure something like this golden square. So let's start doing this. I am pasting this blue region right here. This white one should be pasted on the left side. This green should be pasted on the right side. Purple on the top of this figure. And this blue, uh, sorry, red piece should fill the remaining portion. Now you can easily compare and see that the pieces that we got from by decomposing the two small figures, we have rearranged them and they have made same square of the golden region. So we can say that the area of these two small squares is exactly same the area of this golden square which is indeed Pythagorean theorem. It also says that the squares of its two legs, the sum of the square of its two legs is equal to the square of hypotenuse. This is what we have proved by just decomposition and rearrangement. So this was the first proof. Now let's see what is the next proof. Okay, now to prove right, uh, sorry, Pythagorean theorem, again I am having a triangle like this. And I have mentioned the name of its side. Just keep this name in your mind so that you can easily compare whether we have proven the Pythagorean theorem. So the, uh, the hypotenuse is C and the other legs are A and B. Now I am taking another piece of this triangle and pasting it like this. Now taking another piece and pasting it like this. Again taking and pasting that like this. So you can see I have taken three, tri sorry, four triangles of same size and pasting them something like this. Now I am naming each and every side of all of these three newly added triangles. So the, uh, and you can see that in between these four triangles, you have got 
a square which I have highlighted with the red color so you can easily visualize it. Now I am mentioning these uh, side names of all of these four triangles. These sides are A, these all sides are B and these all sides are C because we have just distributed the same red triangles so they have the same side lengths. Okay. Now what we are doing, we are taking another copy of this figure what we have drawn and now just look at the red square which is in between this figure and its all sides are C. So what should be its area? Well, since it has all same sides which is of length C, so the area should be C squared which is very simple. You know this, how we have done this. So the, the, uh, the, this red region is C squared. Now I am taking another copy of this figure with uh, side uh, labels and now what I am doing, the way we rearrange the triangles, now I am changing its arrangement. Now I am uh, pasting this triangle from here to here, this from here to there and taking this to there. So now I have arranged the same triangles but in the different form. Now you can easily visualize that the red region has divided in two smaller regions but the area is still be same because still we have two same larger squares like you can compare this large region and this large region they are same and from this large region the golden part is also same because in this figure we had four triangles and in this figure we also had the same four triangles so the red region has distributed in two smaller squares but they still be same right now if you look at this region of this uh, uh, red square so you can see this side is a and this side is also a so the area should be a squared Similarly, if you look at this portion of this red uh, square, so it, its sides are B and B, so the area should be B squared. Does it make sense? Because the region was same and we have just uh, changed its position, so the red region here in this figure is same, the red region we have in this figure. So, and we can visualize this, it also proves the Pythagorean theorem. How? Because you can see this area here is C squared and C was the hypotenuse of the triangle. And area in this figure are A squared which is the one side of the triangle and the area of B squared which is the other side of the triangle. So visualizing these two figures you can see that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared or in other words we can see that the area of one leg of triangle plus the area of second leg of triangle is equal to the area of its hypotenuse which is indeed Pythagorean theorem. So this is the second proof of Pythagorean theorem. Now in the video we are discussing its last theorem, last proof of this theorem like this. I am using the same figure that we have already made using the uh, four triangles of same size but I am keeping this figure on the right side of my screen so that I can write something on the left side. Now I am starting I would go step by step so that you can easily make sense and you can visualize what is happening. The first step is that the area of the large square is what is the area of the large square? This is basically what is we are referring to the large square. So this is large square. To find the area you, we have to know its length and width since it's a square so we just need to know only one side of it from the top side you can see that we have made this side by adding a and b so we can say that this length is a plus b right and we can also see that this height is also same which is a plus b and we need to find the area of this large square so we have to multiply both of these sides and it would become a plus b multiplied by a plus b. So this is the area of this large square. Next we are finding the area of a small square which we are referring as this red square. Large square is complete figure, a small square is this red square. Now you can see that the sides of this red square is c, 
all sides are c so the area should be c squared and we have already found it in the last proof as well so we are writing this area right here so we have we know that the area of large square and the area of a small square next we are finding the area of one triangle what is the area of one triangle so we are taking these two sides because we know that the area to find the area of triangle the formula to find the area of a triangle is len times breadth divided by 2 so the length and width of a height and base of this triangle is a and b and we are dividing it 2 so this is the area of one triangle next we are finding the area of four triangles if we add up the area of all of these four triangles what should that area be since we have found the area of one triangle which is a times b divided by 2 and we have four triangles of same size so we can multiply it by 4. Now we can do some cancellation. We are cancelling two, 4 with 2 and we are left with 2 here. Now we are multiplying a, b with 2 so we have left with a times b times sorry 2 times a times b. So this is the area of four triangles or in other words I can say that this is the area of the golden region what we have because this golden region is made up of four triangles. So what we, all we have we have the area of this complete square which is a large square. We have an area of this small square which is red square and we have an area of this golden region. Now just look at this what I am saying. I am saying that the area of large square is same as the area of a square oh sorry area of a small square and four triangles well does it make sense you can easily easily visualize what i am saying this is the area of large square what is this complete figure right and we can also say that we can make this area by adding this golden region and this red region right so we can say that this area which is the area of complete this figure is same as the sum of these two areas which are the area of red square and area of this golden region right so we have written a we have written a mathematical expression equation like this now we need to multiply these two binomials a plus b multiplied by a plus b so we have algebraic identity and we can say that it equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. You can also prove it by multiplying these two binomials. Okay. And we are keeping the right hand side as it is. Now, since we can see that we have plus 2ab on the both side of the equation. So, we can just cancel them out. Right. So, after cancelling them, we have left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, oh, which is indeed the Pythagorean theorem because it is saying that the sum of a square of two legs of triangle is equal to the square of its hypotenuse. So, this is the last proof that we wanted to discuss with you in this video. So, in this video, we have completely discussed the three ways to prove Pythagorean theorem. So, kindly mention in the comment below which one of the proof you like the most. Thank you so much.